Hello and welcome. In this new week, we will be focusing only on gateway and trying to make our service good, better and trying to make it best. What we are going to do, we are going to work with some of the OData query options and also try to implement some of the advanced feature in NetWeaver Gateway, which makes our service more production ready, more better in terms of performance. For example, if I want to extract a lot of data from my backend and I don't want to do a lot of round trips from my front end server to the back end server to extract those data from RFC calls or extracting the data and giving it to the browser, then how to do that? What are the scenarios where you will require it? For example, I want the information of the sales order plus item details plus partner all these three in one single call how to do that what are the scenarios which can basically require you to write those complex query these are some of the things which we will be exploring technically we will be starting with odata query option i will not be covering basic syntaxes which i have covered in netweaver gateway those are pretty simple we will be writing them down when we are trying to make the code complex but we will be starting with query option Query option, when we will start, we will start with specifically small things like how can I order my queries results or sorting in a way, how to implement filters in your OData query option, how to implement top and skip those functionalities. Then we will advance to some higher complexity, how the relationship between entity comes into picture, what is the association and navigation, how to implement that. We will be focusing in details. We will create a business partner and a sales order and an item, and we will try to navigate between these. We will see how can a expand entity works and why that is required in the first place. It will not only be how to do that, but why you require that. What are the scenarios where you will require that and how to properly implement it? Is it the right syntax? Because there can be multiple way of implementing a solution. But is it the standard or right way which you are going to write down in production or the code changes should be executed in production? So we will see that as a good quality of ABAP code as well. We'll avoid writing some of the codes which you cannot really transport to your production system. Then we'll go to the opposite of expand and try to put a lot of data together in a single call. So in expand, if I can extract the data from multiple tables, then in my deep insert, I can basically insert the data into multiple table in a single call. How to do that? Then we'll go and see how to implement the batch when you have multiple HTTP separate calls, how to do that in a single call. Our main focus in this entire section would be how to make our services better by writing better codes, by thinking in terms of improvement, in terms of performance. So join me in this course to see how to work with Odata query option, with filters, top, skip, order by, which is for sorting, then navigation property, then expand entity, then deep insert and batch. And I hope that I meet your requirement because there are so many people requested us to create this section. And finally, we are going to put it in Fury for Developer course. My name is Ajanaik and learn simple.